Games are a beautiful mix of art and technology, and developers have been constantly toying with new ideas and techniques that push the envelope of what's possible with commercially available gaming hardware at any given time. We've been treated to plenty of games that pushed their target systems to the absolute limit, and today we'll be looking at 15 such games. God of War 3 for the PS3 the series has always been a pioneer of jaw-dropping spectacle and pristine visuals. And the third game was no different. Released back in 2010 for the PS3, it wowed players with its sense of scale that didn't come at the cost of any compromise to the micro-fidelity. The character models and environments were still some of the best on the market, and segments like the boss fight with Kronos were a strong reminder of the sheer graphical prowess of Sony's PS3. While it wouldn't obviously hold a candle to current-gen graphics, it still holds up reasonably well by modern standards. Which is yet another testament to the technical wizardry that Sony Santa Monica did with this release. Forza Horizon 5, Xbox Series X Set against the sunny backdrop of Mexico, Forza Horizon 5 presents a literal playground of possibilities with the latest iteration in this long-running franchise. Not only is the map dense with things to do, but it's also a beautiful world to just get lost in. Sweeping vistas punctuate points of interest, different terrain types and biomes seamlessly flow into one another, and beautiful weather effects add so much character to any given scene. Playground Games makes good use of cutting-edge rendering techniques like photogrammetry to achieve this level of realism, and the game really pushes Microsoft's newest console to its limits by outputting it all at a resolution of 4K. Horizon Forbidden West, PS5 Guerrilla Games delivered an excellent sequel in the form of Horizon Forbidden West, which took the strong foundations of the original and resolved almost every criticism while expanding the scope to new boundaries. It's also one of the best-looking games on the market and serves as a great showcase for what awaits players in this generation of gaming. Everything from the individual components that make up the machine to foliage density and cloud movements has been done with painstaking attention to detail, and the final product looks like a wondrous painting dripping with ingenious imagination from every side. The game utilizes every last drop of power from the PS5, and we can't wait to see how the Decima engine continues to evolve from here. Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales PC it wasn't a long time ago when even the mere thought of PlayStation exclusives arriving on other platforms like PC would seem nigh impossible, but those notions have been proven wrong thanks to a slew of mostly quality ports in recent years. Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales ranks as one of the best of the bunch, thanks to support from cutting-edge rendering techniques like ray-traced reflections and DLSS, among a bunch of other things. It's an absolute joy to swing through the snow-capped streets of Harlem, all while enjoying pristine reflections and buildings, each of which have tons of rooms with interiors that are mapped out with a surprising amount of detail. Miles Morales is a beautiful game that's best experienced on PC with all of the settings cranked up to their maximum, but running at a high frame rate obviously requires having a fairly powerful system to handle all that jazz. Detroit Become Human PS4 Quantic Dream has continually pushed for photorealism both in terms of character models and animations, and Detroit Become Human is no different. The polygon budgets for the character models and the environments are markedly higher than the competitors. And couple that with high-quality motion capture performances, Detroit Become Human can come really close to reaching the uncanny valley. There's also plenty of set pieces and chase sequences that showcase these excellent worlds in great detail. It's been almost five years since it was released, and it's rather surprising how well it holds up even after all this time. Death Stranding Director's Cut PC Kojima Productions' Death Stranding uses an upgraded version of Horizon Zero Dawn's Decima engine, and it shows in the final release. The game presents an appropriately bleak rendition of a dilapidated United States that plays to the strengths of the game engine. It makes great use of dull colors and deformed terrain that is rich in geometry to convey its desolate themes. The character models might not be that expressive, but they certainly exhibit a great amount of detail with complex skin meshes and lifelike animations. The director's cut edition provides a general uptick in visual quality in all respects, which makes the already appealing package even more endearing. Playing it on PC allows those with high-end hardware to really push the game to the highest, and when you do that, it's just a sight to behold. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, PS5 
Ghost of Tsushima is a compelling tale about the Mongol invasion of Tsushima, and the artists over at Sucker Punch have done a great job of setting it all against a picturesque background that not only looks good from an artistic standpoint, but also from a technological one. The island of Tsushima is a melting pot of colorful fields of flowers, beautiful sunsets, and dense forests filled with reactive foliage all of which come together to create a world that's unlike any other. The Director's Cut updates this package to better utilize the PS5's power, and it really pushes the machine to its limits with increased resolution at higher frame rates. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Switch when Nintendo announced that the Switch would have a mobile-grade NVIDIA Tegra GPU driving its games, many were understandably worried that the console would struggle with graphically demanding titles, but The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild proved to be a bold answer to that notion and a strong testament to the power of the Switch. Apart from rendering huge chunks of the maps at once, Nintendo also pushes the Switch's CPU with a bevy of physics interactions within the environments. The performance is not always the best, but it's certainly impressive considering the hardware it's running on. Red Dead Redemption 2 PC Rockstar Games' Red Dead Redemption 2 is a sprawling epic consisting of memorable characters and jaw-dropping vistas against a massive open world, and the developer has done a great job of realizing these environments to a point where some scenes can be indistinguishable from real life. While it looks equally beautiful on consoles, those having a powerful PC can crank the settings and image quality all the way up. And even if that's not enough, you could throw in a few graphics-enhancing mods and see the game transform into a virtual reality, which will obviously put even the best PC hardware to its paces. Cyberpunk 2077 PC Cyberpunk 2077 might have been subject to plenty of controversy thanks to the many technical issues at launch, but there's little argument to be had about how pretty the game looks. Night City is just what one would expect from a futuristic dystopia, complete with rain-soaked streets and a dichotomy between the dense slums, populated by vagabonds and high-rise buildings only available to the affluent. Tons of light sources reflect light out into the surroundings, which creates a uniquely futuristic look, and it's obviously best experienced with ray tracing on a powerful PC. Turning up the graphics knobs will push any PC rig to the extreme. And if you have a worthy machine, Cyberpunk 2077 is a must-try. Batman Arkham City, Xbox 360 Batman Arkham City takes Gotham's Dark Knight out of the claustrophobic corridors of Arkham Asylum and out into the far-reaching shores of Gotham City. Released all the way back in 2011, Arkham City wowed gamers with its rendition of Batman's home turf. While the PC version was obviously better with support for physics and better anti-aliasing options, Arkham City really pushed the envelope of what was possible with 7th generation hardware. Both the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions look good, but the former certainly pushed for higher resolution and better frame rates than the latter. Open world games at the time would usually cut back on micro fidelity to be able to stream big maps, but Arkham City really nailed having a huge world that's gorgeous on both a micro and macro level. Control, Xbox Series X. Remedy Entertainment's Control is emblematic of the developer's biggest strengths. Right from the twisted narrative to the blockbuster third-person gameplay and the intentionally ominous vibe of it all. Apart from this, the developer has also done a great job of depicting the FBC's headquarters architecture with generous use of high-quality textures and computationally taxing effects like ray tracing, which is exclusive to the current-gen consoles. The end result is unsurprisingly nothing short of spectacular. The Northlight engine really pushes the hardware by rendering it all at a high resolution, and we can't wait to see how the tech will evolve when Alan Wake 2 releases sometime this year. Gran Turismo 7 PS5 after a long hiatus, Polyphony Digital has returned with Gran Turismo 7, a complex driving simulator that dwarfs the prior entries by a significant margin. It's a significant visual jump from prior entries, and everything from the tracks to the vehicles and even the individual components of cars are rendered with painstaking attention to detail and consistently high levels of fidelity. It's very easy to lose hours upon hours obsessing over every little detail in your favorite supercars in the escapes mode, which also adds ray tracing to the mix for accurate lighting and reflections. 
Furthermore, the game also makes excellent use of the PS5's increased CPU power by knitting a complex web of mechanics that come together to make up the driving model for the game. All in all, it's a gorgeous game that you should definitely try out on a quality display. Gears 5 Hivebusters PC the original Gears of War was a graphical showcase for the power of Unreal Engine 3, and the series has continued that legacy of delivering cutting-edge visuals with each new release. Gears 5 Hivebusters is the series at its graphical best, thanks to a buffet of impressive environments that are filled with generous use of alpha effects and volumetric smoke that come together to make for some pretty realistic scenes. While the game obviously looks good on console, the PC version allows for pushing these visuals even further with better resolution and increased frame rates. That said, cranking everything to ultra is obviously going to take a toll on even the best hardware, so be prepared for that. Killzone 2 PS3 it's rather commonplace to see Killzone 2 featured in lists about games with misleading marketing thanks to the original reveal trailer, but there's little appreciation about what the game actually delivered in case of visuals. Sure, they might not match the original showing, but Killzone 2 is easily one of the best looking games on the PS3. The game not only features a striking level of detail in its environments, but it also pioneered the use of generous dynamic lighting, alongside a bevy of post-processing effects like alpha particles and and high quality depth of field, among other things. It was a game that was well ahead of its time, and it would be an understatement to say that Guerrilla Games didn't ooze out every last inch of performance from the PS3's cell based processor. And that brings us to the end of the video. A quick request we upload new videos every single day, and if you like what we're doing, please consider subscribing. It really, really helps us out. Also, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon so that you can receive daily video updates. Thanks for watching.